<clears throat> All right. Welcome to the another episode of How to LMMS. For those who are new in this channel, and if you haven't watched my How to LMMS previously, very encourage you guys go and watch it before you jump into today's video. In today's video, we were going to talk about how to use piano roll in LMMS. And you will get to know on how to use the piano roll to make the patterns or how to open the piano rolls, how to use the piano roll faster, and lastly, observe whether we can use the piano roll without MIDI keyboard together make music in LMMS. First thing, we have to know where to find the piano roll. Go to the song editor. Click the bar on this plugin two times. And there you go. This is your piano roll. Or if you also can right click on the bar, Click open in piano roll also will popping up too. If you feel this grid bar is very annoying, you can just right click and click the delete. Or if your mouse got middle button, you can just click it and it will disappear. When you just randomly click the pattern, that's how your piano pattern looks like in the row. Going down here, you can adjust the note volume or velocity. And if you click the note velocity, it will become not Penning. If you go watch my videos of doing the challenge, you will find I only use mouse and some keys on my computer keyboard. I'm not using any MIDI keyboard. But before we go to the keyboard, let's go back to the piano roll again. From the piano roll, the first knot is the play button, second is record, third is the note everyone missed out all looking down on it especially me, which is record notes from MIDI device or channel song while playing song or beat based track. If you don't know what it is and what does it mean, later I will show you guys by making the music again. Then you will understand how important of this note. And the fourth note is paused. Draw mode is usually how we notate the note by using the mouse. Let's randomly press everywhere. If you want your notes longer, you can go to the note. And when you see the arrow at the mouse there, you can just make it long or short. This is eraser. If you want to delete the pattern, you can use the eraser to erase them. This is the pitch band. Some of the plugins can use the pitch band, while some of them not, such as Zing SFS, LB302, VSD plugin, and probably got some of the plugins too. But the very confident that I can say is these three plugins cannot do the pitch bending. And this is how I do the pitch bend. First, notate the note. And then, click the pitch bend. Once you click the pitch bend, click the note that you want to bend a pitch. And now, watch and learn. This is how I usually do. I will shrink the screen on the pitch bend window, so I can see the line of the pitch bend. After that, is the progress of how I do the pitch bend sound. And there you have it. The pitch bend in LMMS. Down below, we got the zoom to make the notes more details. We can just zoom in, zoom out, maybe like 200 or more and more, or maybe less than 50%. Also, can. And next one is quantization. It got lots of the different sides of the notes. You can make triplets written if you put one twelve notes, or if you don't want to sound robotic, you can go to one over ninety two and play naturally too. Last note means that LMMS will use the note length of the notes you last edited. For no scale and no chord, I think I will going to leave it until we do the music theory tutorial. Now let's look at our keyboards here. The only keys we were going to use are Control, Shift, A, C, V, Delete, and the arrow. First, let's notate something on our piano roll first. 
Let's say now I want my notes to go to the second bar, but I want all the notes to go together instead of one by one. Or you don't want to click the notes and adjust by using the mouse. So now, click the control A. Then all the notes have been selected. Next, click the shift and the arrow, then you can move slowly. But if you click Ctrl plus arrow, you straight jump to the one bar. Same goes to the arrow up and down too. Going up with shift buttons is semitone, while going up with Ctrl is one or tap higher. Next one is the C and V. Click the Ctrl A again. Click Ctrl plus C, it means copy. And if past it, boom. This is the faster way to copy and paste it. Now finally, we will get to try and make the music in LMMS again. Watch and learn if you don't want to miss anything. First, go to the song editor. Let's find some presets to make the music. Next, click the bar track to go to piano roll. This is how I usually do, I only notate the notes by using mouse, but not really use the keyboard or MIDI keyboard. Although it might take a lot of time, but it still get a lot of things to done. Now, we got the chords and the melody all by using mouse to finish it. So, it's possible to make music without keyboard too in LMMS. Meanwhile, do you still remember the knob that I talking about just now, which is this record note from MIDI keyboard knob? Since I don't have MIDI keyboard now, I will use the computer keyboard to record the track. I really thought LMMS only can record one by one tracks but cannot record the song while playing the track we made just now, which we called it multiple track record. So yeah, let's give a try now. I give myself one bar ready. Let's make some magic. Alright, that's all for today's video. I think I might miss out something, I guess maybe probably 10% of them I think I really show out, but most of them I already show out like how to use the LMMS faster and yeah. 
This is how you use the piano roll faster. Hopefully these tutorials will help you a lot and also hope you guys will like it. If you like today's video, help me share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Or if you got any question you want to ask, comment down below and let me know. And if you haven't followed my Instagram, feel free to go and follow my Instagram. Okay, I think I will see you guys in the next video.